Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Joanne from Scrappy Confessions. Um, I'm here today with my 2016 December Daily. I finished, finally finished the cover. Um, I just did it um, with a card from Simple Stories. I think it's last year's collection, I don't remember the name of it. And then I glued these little felt um, holly leaves and buttons on there. I got the holly leaves from my friend and Angie last year. And some glittered snowflakes I got from um, from um, Walmart. Can remember. And then I got this wooden Noel. I'm not sure. I got it in a swap last year. And then I might like last year. I glued some um, some um, tool on it and some bells. I got these bells at the Dollar Tree, and I might glue that here. But I'm probably going to do that after I finish the book. Um, I got this album, it's a recipe album, at Hobby Lobby, and I, it was regular 25, and I had a 40% coupon, so I got it, um, probably, I got it probably for like 15 or $16, and um, I'm going to probably have to go back and get another one, because I just got my foundation pages done, and I haven't got any photos or any embellishments hardly in it at all, so I'm going to need another one, so I think I'm going to do part one. And then part two, I'm going to get the same kind of binder. And um, maybe I'll do a different cover, I'm not sure. But I'll show you what I got so far. Um, what I did is I printed out a calendar. Um, I will link the blog up underneath this video where I got this free printable calendar. There's like three different ones for this year on her blog. I don't remember her name, I forgot. But they're really cute. And I thought it would be a good idea to write down the stuff that our our city we live in Las Vegas and they do a lot of fun things for Christmas and um, some of the stuff's free and some of it's not so like the Bellagio is free they do they decorate on the first they start with their their holiday uh, winter decorations and like Friday the second is um, Zappos holiday tree lighting on the third it's going to be the boat parade on the lake Lake Mead and there's going to be a picnic with Saint Nick and then, you know, d different days like that, you know, I wrote down, um, there's like the Santa train in Henderson that, um, is going the year, the whole month and like the speedway lights at the raceway. Those are for the whole month. Um, adventure to Santa and the fashion show model photos with Santa and then the polar express experience. Those go on the whole month. So I documented them up here on the top where I can remember that these are going on and we can. I can write those in on the days that we want to do those. And the other days that have only certain certain date, I put them, you know, on the dates. So, and then, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of fun things going on like the we Ethel M Chocolate Factory has lights in the back. And there's there's all kinds of things going on during the during December in Las Vegas and it's really fun. So that's how I kind of decorated my um did my foundation pages. I kind of did it by the calendar and kind of figured out what we were going to do on certain days. And I didn't really glue anything down. I left it so I can move things around if I need to, if things change or whatever. So um, what I'm going to do here for the cover is this came with the Simple Stories. It's not the correct calendar that because the first star starts on Thursday, but I thought it would be cute to include it anyways. I'll glue it on here like that and then embellish it. So I want to do that still. And then um, I put tuck this cute card and it says take making a list. I'll do other stuff and you know, keep other stuff in here. So I thought on this page, and I always start Thanksgiving. I work my way up from Thanksgiving, November 24th this year. And I always go to January 6th because it's Three Kings Day, which we celebrate because my husband's Puerto Rican, so we have to celebrate that day. And then January 5th is my granddaughter's birthday and then New Year's, so we, I like to document all the way to the 6th. So I thought on the beginning of the book, I will put a picture of the three of us here, me and my husband and my granddaughter here. And it says, Tis the Season to Sparkle. And then I left this blank. This is for Thanksgiving. I have We have two cute pictures that I'm going to put here, Thanksgiving pictures. And then I'll probably put some food pictures here. And um, us at the table, my fo my parents and my daughter, law and son, and the grandkids here. And um, I got recipe cards tucked in this little pocket that my friend Tiffany gave me. She gave me some blue and um, little red pockets that I've included throughout this book. And then I've got this cute journal card that says thankful. And I'll probably write down what I'm thankful for and tuck it in here. 
And then this is the 25th, which was Black Friday. We didn't do much Black Friday shopping. We just went to the grocery store and the Dollar Tree and the 99 cent store. We really didn't, I don't really like to go out when there's crowds. And especially on Black Friday. It's really crazy. And I don't think the deals are that great anyway. So um, we did we did go to the uh, few places. So um, And then that night we took the kids to go see the Cactus Factory or the Chocolate Factory. And they have a cactus garden. They decorate um, all the cactus with Christmas lights. And they have Santa. It's really cute. They got to sit on Santa's lap. So uh, we did that. So I will be documenting the pictures that I have for that. That was uh, uh, Friday. And they spent the night. They had a sleepover. And we did the Polar Express. We did, um, we watched the movie Polar Express. And I made them little golden tickets. Um, and I'm going to include the little tickets in here. And then um, I'm going to, um, we, we drink hot chocolate. And I have them laying on the floor in their blankets. So I'm going to be documenting, putting those in these days. And then on the 26th, me and my husband and my granddaughter went to um, Picnic with Santa. And Tiverly Village in here in Las Vegas, and it was really cute. We had a good time, and you read the kids a story and hot hot chocolate, and we took photos. So that's going to be on these days. I saved like four, three pages for that, and then we took a ride to Springs. Um, it was called Red Springs. We took a ride and went hiking here. So we'll just put a couple pictures of that day, and then this is today, uh, Sunday. Um, I'll probably just document our Christmas tree. We um, actually put it up early this year. Normally don't put it up till Black Friday or like the weekend after Thanksgiving. But this year was kind of anxious and I got it up. So I'll probably be docking, documenting the tree since today was kind of a lazy day. We didn't do much. I just worked on my book today. And then uh, this will be for tomorrow. The kids go back to school. They were off for one week for uh, uh, Thanksgiving break. So they go back to school tomorrow. So I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. We might do some crafts tomorrow. I have some gingerbread um, house frames for them to do so we might do that tomorrow and then um this is uh for monday and then tuesday and then wednesday so wednesday is the 30th the last day of december and then we go into december i mean last day of november then we go into december so i, I here's another one of those calendars that i got from that blog i just um shrunk it down to size to fit in my book and i thought it was cute i could write down what we did exactly on those days so I can keep track of what we did. I thought it was cute just to put a calendar in here. And then I found this cute vintage Santa online somewhere. Really cute. Remind me of my childhood. So um, I wanted to put that in there. And then I went through my my little drawers that I have for Valentine's Day. And because some of the stuff like the bows and red or red and gold, some of the stuff can go for Christmas. So I found a couple of these paper bags that I got last year from a swap, but I thought they'd be really cute to include in my book. And I can tuck little cards in there and little photos and different little memorabilia. And I got this Christmas list, Christmas shopping list, my wish list, real cute little cards. But I'm not sure if they'll stay here. They might move around. For now, I put them in here. I made this cute little shaker. I cut... Um, page protector down and I put some um, some sequins and some glitter and uh, real cute and I'm, this kettle that says Merry Christmas I thought that would be cute to start off my December and then on December 1st is here real cute I know we're going to be doing like the Bellagio Gardens open it's the first day for their winter show so we'll probably go on Thursday to do that so I saved a couple and that's one of our traditions that we normally do. So I tuck this card in here. It said Christmas traditions. And, you know, I didn't glue anything down. So everything, I can move anything around that I need to. If it's not the right color, I can switch the paper around or, you know, change it. Last year, I didn't get my book done because I didn't prep my book. I just um, didn't prep it. So I didn't even get it done until two weeks ago. Because I, my goal was to get it done last year in January. But... Uh, my son and his wife moved with us, so I had to move my scrapbook stuff and pack it up. And we and we were getting ready to move in May, and I it just was crazy, a crazy year, you know, with the grandkids because they moved, relocated from California to Nevada. So I've been spending more time with them. So this year I'm planning on getting it done at least by the middle of January if I can. So that's why I wanted to get it prepped and ready to go and make it easier on me because it's so busy. 
busy time of year and then if I don't get it prepped I'm not going to get it done. So on the second they're having a tree lighting and uh, Zappos. It's a shoe company here that in town and they have a big tree in the middle of their um, of where they their company and we we haven't gone um, ever. I think this is our second or third year. So we're planning on going this year. And um, so I thought I'd include this, and I put a tree here with some paper, and uh, I just set everything in there. I didn't uh, glue anything down. And then that's a Friday. We'll probably go to dinner or something. And then on the third, it's a Saturday. They're having like a boat parade on the on Lake Mead, and we we didn't go last year because it's really cold. We went the year before, and um, and they're having a picnic with Saint Nick that day. I'm not sure if we're gonna do that, but. Um, I left plenty of room to document that. And then on Sunday, they're having, on the 4th, they're having a Christmas experience at one of the churches. So I thought if we do that, then, you know, that's why I kind of left it, you know, where I could, if we don't do that, then we do something else or whatever else I want to document. My favorite Christmas movies, you know, I can move things around. So here's more for the 4th. I don't even know if I need all this. I can take it out if I don't need it. Um... This is the 5th of uh, December, and it's a Monday, and they're doing um, cookies with Santa, and they're taking photos, so I thought it would be fun to take the kids to. It's only $3 to go, and then the, and the picture's like 5 so I thought that would be cute to take all the grandkids to go see, have cookies with Santa, so we might do that on Monday after they get out of school. It's in the afternoon, and then on the 6th, there's nothing really planned. So I kind of just put this paper here on the 7th. It's a Wednesday. I don't have nothing planned. And on the 8th, there's a 8th through the 10th, there's a Winterfest going on in Henderson. And we might go on Thursday, maybe. We'll see. So I put that here, kind of winter colors here. And then on the 6th, it's a Friday. There's a um, thing going on called Holiday Heritage. And um, I just put the red bread paper. I thought it was cute. And see, and then on the 10th, there's all kinds of stuff going on in my city. There's like four different things. And one of the things that was going on was called the Candy Cane Festival. And I we weren't going to try to go. So I thought that would be cute to put a candy cane here. And this is Candy Cane's five cents. I just set it in here. I didn't glue anything down. So I thought that was cute. Here's for the 10th again, because we might end up doing more than one thing. And then 11th says St. Nick's Candy Shop. And I have nothing planned on the 11th or the 12th. 13th. I allowed two days for photos. And if I don't need two days, then I can always move the numbers over. The list. The 15th. 16th. I thought I just tucked in some little cards that would match the paper and stuff. The 17th is a. Uh, winter wonderland going on so that do some winter paper and then the 18th is just tucked in this cute little holiday favorite card and the 19th they got some skating going on at the cosmopolitan hotel so i glued included these little ice skates if they don't if we don't do that then i will take it out then 20th we don't have anything planned 21, 22, see, and I just put, just, you know, 23, and then Christmas Eve, and I did Christmas Eve with Santa, because I know the kids are going to, we'll probably make cookies that night, and we're going to plan on having um, um, a pajama party, probably giving the kids new pajamas, and we'll, we'll get a, watch a Christmas movie, we'll have popcorn and hot chocolate, and we'll have fun. So we'll do that on Christmas Eve. And maybe we'll just order pizza. And then I put in another one of these paper sacks um, that I had gotten. And I put this little, the nice list. And I have to fill it out on there. I, I have a one that says a naughty list too. I think I'm going to include that in here too. The nice list and the naughty list. And then a journaling card I glued on the back here. And then I just glued this on here to make like a layout for Christmas Eve. I allowed um, extra space for, I know I'll be taking a lot of pictures Christmas Eve and Christmas. And then I thought it was cute to tuck in these recipe cards. Maybe I'll make some homemade cookies 
for Santa, me and the kids. And then this is cute. I'll probably put this on another page. Just tucked it right here for now. And then there's a cute little mugs with the candy canes. We'll do the little candy sticks with the hot chocolate probably on the 24th. And this is a checklist too. Who's been naughty and nice. And this is 24th also. I believe this one says a 24th over here. Yeah, Christmas Eve. And then this is Christmas. I just set these in here. I'll be, I don't know if I'll be using all these, but I know I want to use the gold one for sure. And I thought this little card was cute. It's a vintage cute card. It looks cute with the paper. So um, I allowed for a lot of space for the 25th. Um, I've cut a few of these acetates that I had down. So I thought that was cute. Recipe card. And then this is like for the food. Pictures of the food over here. And then another recipe cards here. And the 25th, another date card. It says desserts, probably, or desserts. And then more Christmas stuff here. Christmas. And then these are cute. It's got little spoons on it. And then Christmas. And then I figure we'll do de December 1st here. Second, third, fourth. My granddaughter's birthday, the 5th. We'll probably include a couple. 5th. Oh, so the 5th is right here. And this will be like the 4th. Oh, so maybe this is the 1st. This is the 2nd. Right here. 3rd, 4th, and then the 5th is her birthday here. And then 3 Kings Day, probably here. We don't do much. We just... um. We'll, we'll, we usually cook food, and then we have um, a Three Kings cake. And so that's about it. It's pretty full for not having a, really embellishments in it besides the little cards and stuff. Um, so I'm going to need a, definitely need another album. Um, I got these two little... I'm going to be putting these in there. These little, um, little envelopes that have glitter, and I just tuck little cards in them that I thought were cute. They might stay in here and they might not. Just a few little cards. I'm going to be putting some, you know, in different places throughout the book. I'll probably put them in the front here so I can um, get to them, hot glue them or something. So um, that's about it. I'm actually going to start working on it tonight because I've gotten, today's Sunday, I've gotten Thanksgiving till um, today to document. So I'll be doing process videos on each day. So um, if you if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I did a 100 subscriber giveaway. I'm at 300 and something. I'm going to be doing another uh, giveaway at 500. So please um, subscribe. Um, and if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you have any questions or any comments, um, uh, leave them below, please. And, and I will document, I will um, link up the for the calendars so you can get, get them and print them out for your December daily and I'd love to see other people's December dailies if you're doing a December daily leave me a comment and if you have a channel um, a YouTube channel um, leave leave me a comment and I'd like to check it out and subscribe to your channel too appreciate it have a great day bye bye